do you have that special friend or husband or boyfriend or son who loves fishing in the outdoors? Right now we're going to talk about some gift ideas for Christmas that I think they'll be really happy with. How do you make a buyer's guide to Christmas for that special angler? That's the question. That's what I thought of when I started this video. And how I started it was I thought of the things that I want or the things that I really enjoy that I think take my fishing to the next level. Today in this video, we're gonna I'm gonna give you nine or ten really good gift ideas for that angler that just loves fishing and loves the outdoors. So to start off, I haven't made a video about these rods for the whole year, and here's why. I wanted to take a year to really learn the nuances of the Temple Fork Outfitter rod. And I didn't want to promote something that I wasn't 100% confident, confident in and 100% that I wasn't sold in. If you have that angler that likes light tackle fishing or, you know, likes to throw those heavy crankbaits, a TFO rod will bring a smile to their face. I have found that the rods in this whole year that I've used are the best rods I've ever used in my fishing career. It's not just the action. It's not just the way the little intricacies that how they're built on where the 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 hook keeper is to how they feel. I spent the for the first time in a year I haven't broke a rod. But you can find some of these rods from TFO. You can go to tforods.com. You can find some of them for 120, 130 bucks on up to 170, 180 dollars, and they are phenomenal rods, seriously. And since we're talking about rods, we should talk about reels. And in, for me, the reel of choice is Shimano. I think you can't go wrong with an SLX for a baitcaster. I don't think you can go wrong with a Shimano Vanford for the reel. The TFO rod paired up with the Vanford from Shimano is the perfect combination of being able to cast non-stop, not worrying about my arms getting tired, and having the confidence that not only can I pull the fish through that grass and mats and everything else that I need to, but that the drag and the reel is going to withstand the power and the stuff that I'm do using it for. So those are two that really aren't on the list, but I really don't think you can go wrong with either one. Most anglers, or most anglers should know, one of the most crucial tools you have on you at all time is your sunglasses. If you really want to get someone, make someone really happy, go out and get them a pair of Costa sunglasses. They are phenomenal. I've used them for 15 years. I have so many pairs it's not even, it's not even funny. I have a pair for when it's low light like this. I would use a yellow lens to where if I'm just going to the pool to watch Thomas swim, I have a blue lens. Or if I'm going fishing, I have an amber lens. I use these constantly non-stop. The reason I like them is they're polarized correctly. Some glasses you get, you have to tilt your head to make the polarization work well. Not Costas, they're designed and made properly. So while they are expensive, they are a tool that everyone should have and you should have more than one. So if you want to get something really great for that husband, a good pair of sunglasses is a must. Now y'all don't see this. This is behind the scenes stuff. But every place I go, I have a tackle, I have a tackle webs 20 liter waterproof bag. And I want to make that clear. A waterproof bag. I put my camera in it, I put my GoPro in it, I put the drone in it. I carry all the important things that I want to make sure that I have readily available quickly in that bag, waterproof bag. And it's not just a waterproof bag, it's a backpack that also has a place to put a water or a drink. This is a crucial, crucial part of the success I've had on this channel. It doesn't make it makes it probably doesn't make a lot of sense because you think it's a, it's a waterproof bag. There have been so many times I've been out fishing and it started to rain. Down here we get rain all the time in Florida, and having my stuff in a bag that I can trust that isn't going to get water inside and I don't have to worry about that camera getting broke is confidence building. It's crucial to what I do. That camera is the most important camera I have. The GoPros and the drone do work and can be replaced. That camera always has something that I don't want to lose or cannot be replaced. So if you're looking for a great inexpensive gift, Tacklewebs has a 20 liter and a 30 liter bag, waterproof bag, that are crucial and essential for anglers. 
my next gift idea is a good set of pliers. I am uh, meticulously organized in my fishing tackle. When I've talked to anglers in the past, the anglers that are always at the top of their game are the ones that are incredibly organized. Occasionally you get a couple that aren't, but they're organized in different ways. Pliers are one of those crucial things that I have with me at all times. This is not a joke. If you went into my office, you'll find a player amount of pliers. If you went into the, uh, the garage, you'll find two or three or four pairs of them. You'll find one in the front of the car. You'll find one in the back of the car because I don't go anywhere without a really good pair of pliers. We've talked about the tackle webs. We've talked about the pliers, but really a great gift. And here's one I want. I'm hoping my wife is listening. The Plano Edge tackle boxes are phenomenal. I own so many of them, it's not even funny. I, I don't think you can have enough. I think there's always something you can find and put in them, even if it isn't fishing tackle. If you want to make someone really, really happy, honestly, they get they can get kind of pricey too, but a Plano Tackle Box, the Edge Series, are unbelievable. They're waterproof, and they do everything right. So if you really, it's really, let me just state it. Honey, that's what I want you to get. I want you to get me Plano Edge Tackle Boxes. So last is going to be just a few smaller fishing lure ideas that I think either most anglers don't have or they're not utilizing or they don't use because they don't have the confidence in and I think you should use these and have these all the time and first is one that I keep very secretive and that's the owner flashy swimmer it's an underspin that is primo it is wonderful you can't beat a underspin in the summer and as it gets cooler it's even better it adds a little bit of flash, it adds a little bit of vibration, and you can put a good trailer on that thing, and it can be fished up north, in the middle of the country, and down here. You're gonna see this one on my top 10, and it comes in really high. But if you wanna get them another great lure, get the Mega Bass Sleeper Gill. Now, I will be honest, I don't like the tail, because it does lose, it does come off, it gets bit off. But the Mega Bass Sleeper Gill is phenomenal it is a bass catching machine i don't think it can be beat right now it is a bluegill style bait that you can fish on the upper water column to the lower water column by just the, the the retrieval speed or where your rod tip is and most anglers realize mega bass has that is known for being great products that catch fish and this is one the sleeper gill is as good as it gets and my last bait is one that is, I've done really well with. I've caught a lot of big bass with this next bait. It's the Thunderhawk Lures Rat Benny. And this is the only one I really have a code for. You think you can use Get Your Fish On 30? I don't know if it still works, but when I'm filming this, it works. The Rat Benny is a topwater rodent lure that only goes about one or two inches deep, but it has exceptional action exceptional wobbling action and it comes with two tails it has one treble a good set of treble hooks on it one treble hook on it that is ultra sharp but the bait just is ex exceeds all expectations if you're if you like to throw baits that have a wake bait style movement and and like the top of the water this is the bait to have the Rat Benny has caught me several fish over 10 pounds this year. So there's my holiday Christmas gift ideas for the, that special someone who loves to fish. Um, I think there's a lot of things you can go out there. If you do your homework, you'll find that a lot of there's a lot of great things to get that special person who loves the outdoors. And if you have a kid or someone else that's young, a young adult that's just getting into fishing, I think a lot of these lures are and, and stuff are good gift ideas that will keep them in the outdoors. It's really important that we keep our youth involved in fishing. So if you have a young angler, buy them a couple of those lures. Or you want to know it? Go out and get them a subscription tackle box. You can get one from Florida Tackle Club, which is the best on the market in my opinion. There's Monster Bass. There's uh, a bunch of them that are really good. And that will help them stay in the outdoors too. You can spend 20 or 30 bucks and, and do that for a year. And it'll give them, give them an immense amount of 
quality tackle products that are not only going to teach them how to fish better, but it's going to keep them introduced or keep them in, uh, keep them going fishing and keeping them involved in the outdoors. So do that. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I'll see y'all soon. Cheers.